Hey guys, in this video I will present Emo Shortlist 2008 problem C5. We have given a subset S of the closed interval 0 to 1 of size k plus l, where k and l are positive integers. Now we want to prove that there are at least 2 over k plus l times k plus l choose k subsets A of S with size k, such that the absolute difference of the average of elements in A and the average of elements in S minus A is at most k plus L divided by 2 kL. Saying that the average of elements in A is close to the average of elements in S minus A is the same as saying that the sum x and A of x is close to k divided by k plus L times the sum of all x. So let us introduce m defined as k over k plus L sum x and s x and take a look at our given equation smiley. Multiplying both sides by kl divided by k plus l we see that smiley is equivalent to saying that the absolute difference of l divided by k plus l sum x and a x minus k divided by k plus l sum x and s minus a of x is less than or equal to a half. Adding and subtracting k divided by k plus l times the sum of elements in a, we obtain that this is equivalent to 1 times sum x and a of x minus m less than or equal to a half. Although it might have initially seemed like rearranging smiley like this will not really give us anything new, since this is just an equivalent reformulation. I do think that it was worthwhile, because now we see that this upper bound is just a half. In particular, for smiley to hold, the sum of elements in A must lie in an interval of length precisely 1. This is a crucial observation, which we want to combine with the fact that, first of all, the midpoint of our interval is exactly the average value of this sum by definition. And secondly, when we perturb our set A a bit, meaning that we remove one element from it and add another element from S to A again, then in absolute value, this sum will change by at most one. We now want to show using these observations that we can construct a small subcollection of all k element subsets of S where we can find some A satisfying smiley or this property. If this construction of our subcollection is sufficiently symmetric and if our bounds are sufficiently good, then this will already be enough to finish the problem by an averaging argument as we will see later. Let us start by considering some A in S choose K. So for example, write x1 up to xk, where x1 up to xk plus L are the elements of S. We know that a slight perturbation of the element of this set only changes its sum by a bit, as I just remarked. That's why we also want to consider the set x2 up to xk plus 1 now. If one of these sets already satisfies Smiley, that would be great, because we want to show that many sets do. But for now, we don't really have any control over that, because we have to introduce m somehow. There's a nice way to achieve this, namely by continuing this perturbation in a cyclic way. So we continue with x3 all the way up to xk plus 2. And also continue this until our last set will be xk plus l, x1 up to xk minus 1. Then these sets, which I call a1, a2, and so on, up to, again, a k plus l, have average sum exactly equal to m by symmetry. Therefore, we can find an i such that the sum of elements of a i is greater than or equal to m. And similarly, there exists a j such that this holds with a less than or equal sign. I claim that we can also choose i not equal to j. Indeed, otherwise we would have equality here. But then note that k plus l is at least 2, 
So we can remove AI from our consideration here and the remaining sets will still have average sum equal to M so that we can in any case find a distinct J with this property. Therefore, since incrementing I by one changes this sum by at most one, we can deduce by a discrete intermediate value theorem that there exists some I hat in the interval starting at I up to J where this is open with the property that the sum of X in A I hat X minus say M has absolute value at most a half. Here, this is some notation I use to avoid uh, these problems with cyclic indices, meaning that these are all indices starting at i up to j minus 1 if i is less than j and if i is greater than j this is the set of indices of i up to k plus l united with 1 up to j minus 1. Similarly we get a j hat in the interval from j up to i with the same property. So at least two distinct sets ai out of our k plus l sets in total satisfy Smiley. We will directly deduce from this observation that a fraction of at least 2 over k plus l of the total subsets satisfy Smiley. Do you see what's the missing step? All of what we have done here would have worked for any labeling of the elements of S. Therefore, we can just reorder the xi and everything will stay true. So let us introduce a uniformly random permutation sigma of the set of 1 up to k plus l. Then we define A1 as the random set containing x sigma 1 all the way up to x sigma k. Similarly, we can define A2 and A3 and so on. Furthermore, let us define y as the number of indices such that Smiley is satisfied by AI. Then y is only dependent on sigma as a random variable and for any given choice of sigma, y is greater than or equal to 2 as established here and therefore this must always be greater than or equal to 2. So the expectation of y is also greater than or equal to 2. If we call our list a1, a2 and so on capital L then by linearity of expectation we can write the expectation of y as the sum over all a such that smiley of a holds of the probability of A in L. L is a random family of K element subsets of S containing K plus L sets. Moreover, any set A in S choose K is equally likely to lie in L by symmetry. And therefore this probability is always equal to K plus L divided by K plus L choose K. And therefore this sum equals that probability times the number of elements A such that smiley of A holds. As you can see, we have proven that at least 2 over k plus L times k plus L choose k sets A satisfy smiley. And this is exactly what we wanted to show. And therefore, we are done.